Hi, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at PowerPoint and how to create a video recording of your presentation. So probably some of you are still working remotely. It's a great way to create flip learning content for your students. So I've opened up the presentation. This is only available in the full app. So I'm using Office 365 and I'm on a Mac, but it'll be available in Office 365 for PC as well. So it's not, unfortunately, at the moment supported in the browser version. So if you're using the browser version, this won't be available, but is available to the full app. And as I say, I'm using Office 365. I believe it was available in earlier versions, but that's what I'm going to show you on this video. So I've got my presentation open. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the slideshow menu and then from the drop down we're going to click record slideshow it launches this video in the top left corner we can see that there is a countdown and we can see how long we've been on the current slide so i could give a narration to my current slides i could then move on and talk through my slides as if i'm presenting to my audience i can see the next slide and i can see any notes all that's going to appear in the video is just the main screen, but I have all of that functionality. So I could go through, talk about each of the slides and the different aspects on each slide. And again, I could be looking at how long each slide lasts. Typically, obviously, I want to give enough time for people to read anything that's on the screen as well as listening to what I've got to say. And having gone through, and clicked on all of the slides and said what I need to do. I'm obviously doing this quite quickly. Uh, here's my blog. For those who are not familiar, I have a blog as well as a YouTube channel. And I can click through. And when I'm happy that I've recorded my presentation, I can come up the top and it's just out of shot potentially there's end show. So I'm gonna end show and, and save that change and enable media because it's got YouTube videos embedded. Then if I want to listen back to it, if I tick the box, it says play narration. It launches this video in the top left corner and you can hear it's working. So that's great and I could click share and I could share it with people and they could have it that way. But if I want it as a video that I can upload maybe to my VLE or to my Google site or my Teams community, then I'm going to want to export it as a video format. So if I go to File, Export, and then when it says File Format from the drop down, if I choose .mov, which is the movie for the file, the video format for Mac, and I can then alter the quality, say to internet quality or presentation quality. I'm going to change the location from being online to being on my Mac. and then I can hit export. Down the bottom, you'll see a progress bar and that's showing me how long it's going to take to convert that into a video. So typically with any sort of flip learning content, I try to limit my presentation to no longer than 15 minutes. Depending on the length of your presentation, how many slides you've got, it may take longer for the video to process, but I can see I've almost finished filling the time it's almost finished processing the video. So that's now been processed. So I can close, minimize my presentation. And there is my video file format. If I double click on that, I've got that there and I could press play. That file is now ready to be uploaded, whether it be Microsoft Stream or, or to YouTube to be shared with my students. So that's how you record your presentation. So you end up with a nice video that you can then add and share with your students. Thanks for watching. Remember to check in for more EdTech videos happening very shortly.